Hello all, I hope you're all well. Um, today I'm going to be doing a yet another pod review. Um, today's pod review is by a company called Evolve. This is being sent in to me by eSig Click. Much thanks to eSig Click for sending this in to me to review. As always, I'll have a link down below in the comments to my written review on eSig Click. Thank you very much for sending this in to me. So we'll do all the normal. We'll go down below, up close and personal on the table, come back up top, talk about the pros, cons, and all that sort of good stuff, yeah? So without further ado, let's go down to the table. See you there. Here you have the Evolve pod system up close. The front, you've got a picture of the device itself, Evolve device. Look on the side, don't throw it in a bin, Church of England. The website on the side there, EvolveVape.com. On the back, you've got Evolve consistency, satisfaction, simplicity. Inside this box, you will get one rechargeable device one magnetic charger all the different various bits and bobs where it's distributed designed keep out of reach of children all that sort of stuff 18 plus lovely so as you open the box it just slides out then you've got the pod system itself instruction manual in fact i'll just if you pull this tab comes off then you've got the magnetic cable there that sticks to everything and you've got the instruction manual there right just have a quick look at the instruction manual meet your evolve i'll show you all that on the device anyway you've got the led indicator top end where the pod goes in charging dock um, how to evolve um, power battery indicator and all that sort of stuff the battery capacity is 460 milliamp hours it charges fully ch from empty to fully charged they say around 60 minutes it more or less is give or take a few minutes um, resistance of the coils is 1.6 ohm output wattage is 5 watt at low power and 5.5 watts at higher power um, the, rec the reckoning you're going to get um, puff number per charge approximately 700 puffs at the low power and 500 puffs at the high power so it's in all in all it's not too bad at all so we'll look at the pod system itself at the front you've got the LED at the side you've got air hole there air hole there and at the bottom You've got where the charging dock goes. On the back, you've got Evolve there. Right. If you want to charge it, obviously you're going to want to charge it. Plug this into your relevant USB output. Then all you do is as simple as that. Charges away absolutely beautifully. Not a problem. As I say, up to an hour, fully charged. Now, the, you don't get a pod in this kit, which is a bit shit, but there you go. So, a pack of pods. Inside there, you get four flavours, classic tobacco, menthol chill, creamy caramel, and summer strawberry. All four of them, lovely flavours, nice flavours for a closed pod system. So, we'll just take a pod out of here. Let's have a look. Each pod, four pods. 1.8 millilitres capacity and 20 milligrams in strength. It is Nick Salts and it is produced by, it doesn't say on here, oh there you go, designed by Salt Labs. So as you can see inside the pods itself, the strawberry, the caramel, tobacco and the cool mint. So I'll take 
anyhow it doesn't really matter so the, when you get the pod systems itself you take the bottom rubber stop away you take the top rubber stop away a little bit of heat liquid in there Just one minute get it like that away so yeah there's your little mouthpiece there now this fucking thing is ribbed it does my head in if this this needs to be smoothed out in my own personal opinion it's it fucking gets on my nerves and you get all sorts of shit from your lips and your mouth caught in this this ribbed drip tip well tip of the pod so all you need to do is when you put the pod in just simply there you go it won't fall out you have to physically forcibly pull it out as you put the pod in it grows blue now if you want to know the battery's power or what you've got left in the battery you just tap it twice and you get a green now green you've got 30 percent to 100 percent battery life left if it glows red you've got 30 percent or lower also you've got power modes now normal power mode is the white light in fact the blue i think just let me check power modes power mode the blue indicates low so there you go the blue power is low so tap it four times white is high blue is low four taps changes the power settings easy the tap of double tap battery setting well, well what you got on the battery absolutely fantastic little pod if you put it i call it a pod on this pod's on steroids but if you put it against the jewel there's the jewel and there's that lasts a very very long time compared to the jewel and the flavor from the pod compared to the jewel are really really good i think this pod system is really good I really do right there you go with the close-up and personal not a lot to talk about because it's a pod so without further ado let's go up to the top give you the pros cons and all that sort of stuff see you up there guys so there you had a look up close and personal with the evolve pod system now what do i think of it it's i've called it in my written review it's like <clears throat> a jewel on steroids now everybody's heard of the jewel pod system now for me the jewel was yeah it's lovely and small but the battery life on it was shit and the pods and the flavor and everything was shit not much flavor at all from the pod systems now if you look at the jewel and you look at the evolve jewel on steroids now it's great as in this pod system isn't a straight put in your pod and vape it's a closed pod system fine not a problem with that at all now i would recommend that they bring out a few more flavors once they got going the four flavors that they've got now are very good especially for new vapors people that are trying to stop cigarettes and come in onto vaping now you've got two of the flavors which is the menthol chill and you've got the classic tobacco obviously your classic tobacco's got tobacco in and your menthol chill as well if like most people coming off cigarettes want a tobacco taste simple with that you've got two nice flavors with tobacco in then you've got the strawberry is it strawberry summer strawberry and the creamy caramel love i love the creamy caramel it's got a lovely peanutty caramelly taste to it it really has these have got some nice not not exceptional flavor not like nine or ten on the flavor scale they've got about a seven six and a half seven out of ten on the flavor scale but they are nice, nice flavours, especially, like I say, for, for new vapours. You've got a very good vape from it. Mm. 
nice flavour, not much cloud production, exactly what you want. And the other thing I think I showed you down at the table, two clicks, green. Batteries from 30 to 30 to 30% to 100%. If it goes on red once you've clicked it twice, tapped it twice, you've got 30% or below. Four taps. That's low power. The white light again. Four taps. All right. And a, a blue light. The high power. Now the high power is better for me. They say on the recommendations, it's like 250-ish less puffs. Fine. I can live with that. But I can take this pod out, put it in my pocket, stealth vape, vape now and again while I'm out and about. It'll last me a day. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. As I say, nice flavours, nice pod, metal touch, smooth finish. I can't say anything else right so pros I've, I've covered most of them nice finish metal to touch easy easy charge system magnetic to magnetic uh, to the charge cable fits in straight away not a problem at all um, what else plus the power mode the battery indicator brilliant just for a, a pod system cons for me that fucking dripped it. That pod system itself. See, I don't know if you can see it. Got knurling on it. I'm not too sure if you can pick that up on the camera there. But it's got... You've seen down below anyway. The knurling on it pisses me off. Besides that, it caps, catches all your crap from your mouth. Um, I would have preferred the pod itself, the mouthpiece, to be smooth. To be a smooth finish. And that for me would have been perfect. But apart from that, I haven't got any problems at all with it. Close it off with one of the little holes on the side. You've got one on either side. If you want a tighter draw, put your finger over one. Vape away. I must admit, I like the tighter draw from this. So I had a little piece of sellotape and just put it over one of the holes. You don't have to piss about with putting your finger over it or anything like that. And that's that with this Evolve pod system. Links to the website will be down below. Um, the prices uh, for this pod system, for the pod itself, without a pod. Oh, that's a con as well. No pod in the kit. Evolve. Put at least one pod with the pod system. Simple. Why not? Fucking cheapskate bastards. Pack of pods. Costs £12.87 for each of the four flavours. You can also buy the pack of four individual flavours. The starter kit with the pod and four, well, the pod system and the four pods is £37.88. Pack of four pods, £12.87. And just the pod system alone is £27.99. I probably think it's a couple of three pounds above what it should be. But... Over time, the prices will probably come down. On the whole, this pod system, max out of 10, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. It's definitely, definitely one of the best, better closed pod systems out there. And an excellent piece of kit to give up smoking, or at least try to give up smoking and get onto vaping. So, as always, guys, please like and share. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscription down below. Hit the subscription button notification button for future uploads updates and all that sort of business as always really appreciate you watching appreciate your subscriptions and all that sort of stuff wherever you are whatever you're doing have a cracking day guys i really mean it enjoy yourselves thank you